Hey everyone, so today I thought I'd film like a impromptu video. I haven't really rehearsed anything or thought about exactly what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna do talking about what to do when you're vegan and you're going out in public, like either to a family gathering or with friends or you're just going to a restaurant that you don't think they're gonna have vegan options. What do you do? What do you bring? Um, how to deal with those people. But have, what, what do you do? So I thought I would just give a few tips and hopefully you can apply them to whatever you do and it will help a little bit. So let's get started. The first tip I oh, always, always suggest, even if you think there's gonna be food there, um, even if anything, always eat before you go. It'll keep you carved up, it'll keep your brain going, it'll keep you full, it'll keep your personality vibrant, and if there ends up not being any vegan food, then you won't have to worry because you'll be full. But if there is vegan food, then you can still eat. But I always, always suggest before going out, eat sweet potatoes or eat rice or eat something. Eat something that is going to keep you full and satisfied. So if you do go out and something bad does end up happening, you're full already. If you go out and you've already eaten and there's no food and you're still hungry, keep snacks in your purse. Keep a few Cliff Bars. Keep a few um, Laura Bars. Keep dates in your purse. Keep um, keep granola. Keep keep some bananas. Keep apples. Keep just tons of fruit, tons of snacks or something in your purse. I personally don't carry a purse and I probably should start because this would be probably really, really helpful. But I was on, I was going to a trip. I was going somewhere one time, I think it was for Thanksgiving, and I knew there wasn't going to be a lot of food. And on the way there, I just had tons of sweet potatoes and I was just snacking on my sweet potatoes in the car and I kept them in a bag. And, and then I had some date balls type things and I dipped them in cacao powder and it was it was it was great but that kept me full and I also brought my own food obviously and rice cookers are always great if you're going somewhere get a rice cooker an instant pot or anything along the sorts and have meals planned out make sure you're thinking of what you're gonna cook and don't just wing it always bring stuff always be prepared the next tip I can give, let's say you're going to the movies and you already have all your snacks, your cliff bars, your granola, everything. You're like, this still isn't the same. It's not the same as popcorn and I'm not going to be watching the movie, you know, just constantly eating. I say bring something that fills you up and that you can snack on, which is sushi. Stuff some sushi in your purse. I know it may seem weird, but the rice is going to carb you up and it's going to be good. Just make some rolls before you go, pop them in your purse, maybe eat them as like a burrito. <laughs> but seriously, I would consider it. Or make your own popcorn. Make some air popped popcorn and stuff it in your bag and sneak it in very nicely. One important tip that I think is one of the most important things ever that if you're going to a family gathering don't just rely on them to give you food don't be like I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna see if they have salads I'm gonna see if they have food that I could actually eat don't do that bring us something a meal that you are really proud of whether it be veggie burgers or some kind of casserole or some kind of dip Go wild. Bring whatever meal that you know would fill you up and you know is amazing that other people would try and be like, wow, vegan stuff isn't just salad. It's pretty good. And let them try it and let them be impressed by it. And just don't go there relying on others to feed you. Rely on yourself. Re rely on yourself and feed yourself and also impress others while doing so. So you may find something at a family gathering, whether it be like bread or um, if they do think of you, then veggie burgers. Or you can always rely on um, vegetables. Say they have just vegetables there. You could snack on those like carrots or something. Um, always. But like I said, I would bring something that you can let them try and that you can eat. And it can be more than one dish, but something that will keep you full too. 
Okay, say you're out with friends or you're out with family or you're just at a gathering and somebody asks you what vegan is and sometimes when somebody asks you that you're kind of like wow really and just don't give them the cold shoulder explain to them in a nice way what vegan is and then be like hey you want to try a few dishes you want to try some of my food and because they're going to be interested in it just like how you would respect them they should respect you so just be like you want to try a few things and if they don't they don't but if they do then let them try it and they could be like wow this is really good and just always be nice when you're out with people about your situation and always like thank people and be the most polite person you can be i remember one time i was at a restaurant in the mountains and this woman she tried so hard she didn't know what vegan was so i made the the sub vegan and then she brought it back with mayo on it and i said i can't eat mayo and my thing took forever and then she um it brought it back again and something was wrong on it and i felt so bad but i was i was trying to be very nice to her and i think she was like she was obviously stressed out by me but i was nice about it so she didn't hate me i wasn't like wow you dumbass i was like thank you so much but this is wrong i can't eat this and sometimes you know you will seem annoying and that's okay because it's just like any other person that has like an allergy to something you can't eat it this is something that is very important i would think if you're at a restaurant and they don't have any vegan options like on your plate that you can see start asking them about the pastas they have like is there egg in them is there animal products in them then ask them about the sauces if they're um if there's any animal products in them ask them about everything on the menu that you can start to think like bread or any other thing that you can think oh this may be vegan and ask them if there's animal products in it my next tip i can give for going out is let's say that you are so sure that there's no vegan restaurants in your area you're like my area sucks there's no vegan stuff definitely you can check happycow.com and it will tell you any vegan slash vegetarian slash vegan friendly restaurant in your area i was sure that there was no vegan places in my area and i checked and i have like four which is pretty good and i can go to them and try out new stuff all the time and that's really exciting and a place like that if you tell other people that aren't necessarily vegan or vegetarian about they might be like hey let's try that that may be fun that's another tip that goes with that one if your friends aren't even vegan you're like and you really want to go to a restaurant that you know is vegan friendly and you want to you know enjoy be like hey guys let's go to this place if they don't like it be like hey we can go to any restaurant of your choice for like the next two to three times but it it will be hard for them not to like it because vegan food is pretty fucking delicious so yeah and if they do end up going just be like wow this really means a lot to me and make sure they know how much it means to you and then they'll start to think oh wow if this means that much to her maybe i should look into this or maybe i should be nicer or him or her i didn't mean just her i was talking about me for a second but um yeah that's just always something to think about and those are just some few tips i have for going out as a vegan how to make things a little bit easier on you and always remember to ask the waitresses or waiters or whoever is serving you um ask them questions because they are there to serve you that is their job and even if they are you know upset about how many questions you're asking you're paying them so they have to answer your question and just be respectful anyways that's the tips i can give for now if you have any more questions leave them down below i was actually um i had made a really really long video about common restaurants that had vegan options and it actually deleted so if you that's something you would be interested in i will refilm it but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope some of this was helpful and you can apply it to your life. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.